Hi everyone, my name is François Parlant and today I've received this file which is composed of the headings of the rows, the headings of the columns and the values. As you see it, it's like if it's the result of a pivot table. Unfortunately, if I want to do some calculation, I need to go back to unpivot the data, which is put every date on one column, put every value on one column. That is a lot of copy and paste to have everything back in order again, especially if in real life you've got many, many, many columns. We need to have an easy solution for that. I've already shown you a very easy solution with Power Query. You should use that. I'm going to put the link underneath this video. But what if you want to do it with a formula? That's what we're going to see now. With the new matrix flavor of the formula in Excel, you can do something like that. Take one column, put an AND, then select everything, click ENTER, and you've got a dynamic array doing the multiplication. We need to build on that to create what we want. If I want to be able later to separate the different data, I need to add a little character when I'm going to put them together. So I'm going to put AND, open the quotes, and I'm going to use a character that is not in my data. Actually, I'm going to use the pipe because I think it's helpful to imagine it's going to separate the columns. I'm going to copy that, I'm going to put myself at the end, and I'm going to take the second column, and then why not the third. Okay, now we've got the first set of data. Now, let's have another separator for the values. I'm going to take the call, the headers, and now another separator. I'm going to take the values. Okay, let's see the result of that. I've got everything together and it seems it's broken, but no, look, when you extend the columns, you see that you've got everything. The zone, the country, the type, the date. Well, we've lost the format, but we're going to do something for that later. And the value. OK, it will be easy to use the separator to cut the columns, but there is a problem. I would like everything to be underneath one another. So I need to have another character to say, go to next line. I'm going to put myself into the data, put end again and open the quotes. And now I need to find a character that could be helpful. I'm going to say that to change line, the underscore. Close the quotes, hit enter. Now we've got a second separator to go one row under another later. Of course, before I can break them down, I need to put them all into one cell, into one text. And of course, that's the concat formula that can do that easily. Now I've got one string of text that I'm going to be able to split. The new text split formula is absolutely amazing. I'm going to use it. It requires to have some text that it's going to uh, cut. Now I'm going to put a comma and I'm going to tell what is the character to separate the columns. Comma. Now I need to tell what is the separator to go underneath in another row. That's my underscore. Now, if I need, I can add some more information, but that's quite enough for now. Let's try it. Yes, I've got everything separated very nicely. Now, let's see the catch. The problem is that because I used text split, the result is not date, it's text. And it's the same thing for the values there align on the wrong side, which means that even if I select the data, there is no way for me to change the format because it's text. So I need to find a solution to put that into number again. In order to achieve that, I will have to reuse multiple times what we've done. And this is a very long formula to repeat. So I'm going to use the let formula, which allows me to give a name to something. Well, I'm going to call it A. That's what has the name A. And if you want to see the result, well, I'm going to show you. Let's display A. Well, Nothing changes because that is A. So now we can do our calculation in here. 
I would like to thank Rory on Stack Overflow for give me, uh, giving me a very elegant solution. I'm going to do a error and I'm going to add zero to everything in here. Of course, it's going to do nothing on the columns of data and uh, value. It's not going to change them, but adding zero will transform them into numbers. Now it's going to make an error if you add zero to text. So if there is an error, just display the text and my text is A. Now I can close the parenthesis and you see that immediately those two columns have become numbers. Now, of course, I can go down and you'll see, oh, there is an NA. I'll explain it to you later. Now I can apply without any problem the short date format. The NA comes from the fact that when we did uh, our formula, we added an underscore and for the last row, well, there is nothing after. So when it cut it, it didn't know what to do with it. So we've got an NA. Now let's have a little bit more fun. I would like to sort the data on the column of the date. Well, there is a new sort formula. Well, it's a bit older, but it's not very old. And I can take an array. Well, I've already got one, that's my if error. And then I can put myself at the end, comma, I need to tell which column I'm gonna use to sort. Well, that's the one, two, three, four. That's the fourth column that I'm gonna use. So let's put a four close the parenthesis of the sort, and now I've got my whole table sorted on the date. Okay, sorry for the headache. I hope you enjoyed the discovery of all these new formulas. Have fun with them. See you again soon. Bye-bye.